All right, so let's now look at how we can create a simple email campaign and send it out to our email subscribers. So we're gonna go to create here on the top left and then we're gonna choose email right here and we're gonna go to regular email campaign. Then we have to give our campaign a name. So simply choose something here that makes sense. Let's say I wanna create a campaign for people who are interested in YouTube tips. So I'm gonna name it five um, tips for YouTube. Then I'm gonna click on begin. And now here the first thing that I can do and that is also very important is to decide on who will actually receive that specific email. Now, if you only have one audience that are interested in the same thing, then it's pretty easy. You can simply leave it as it is because it's just gonna send it to the audience that you have. But if you have already tagged your audience by interest, for example, let's say you have people who are interested in YouTube tips, then you have interest, people who are interested in maybe um, e-commerce tips, then you wanna tag those people accordingly and depending on what kind of campaign you're sending, you only wanna send the campaign to the people who are interested in that content because um, if you send it to everybody, then a lot of people will not open your email and you will get a lot less deliverability because the Gmail, for example, will see, oh, people are not interested in the content from that email address, so we're gonna send it to the spam folder, we're gonna send it to the junk folder, and this is really bad for your email marketing. So make sure you're only sending emails to people who are interested in what you are giving them. So we can click on edit recipients right here, and first decide on the audience, and then we can also decide on what tags those people should have. I only have one tag set up here, blog readers, so I'm just gonna choose that tag. Um, and then we can also choose the personalize the tool field so people can see, okay, this is to Bob Smith and not, not to Bob at example.com. Um, um, then I'm gonna click on save. And then we can change the from information. So I'm just probably gonna leave it as it is. I've already set it up in my defaults, Simon uh, Medix Media, which is displayed as the from information. And then this is the email address that will they will receive the email from. That's fine, click on save. Then the subject line, something that is very important for your email marketing because this eventually decides on if people click on your email or if they don't. So you wanna make the subject enticing to click on. So something like uh, maybe something they can relate with. So wanna start on YouTube uh, this year. Um, here's my five secret, something like this that makes them wanna click. And then you can also have a preview text. So this is the preview that they see before they open the email. So let's say secret uh, number one is blah, blah, blah. Something like this. So they actually wanna click on the email. This is really important. Then click on save. And then we can click on design your email. So there you will actually create the content of your email. And they have actually a new email builder, which I think is very nice. So this is what we're gonna use in this video. So I'm gonna click on select right here. And that takes us inside of the email editor. So the first thing that we can do is to choose a template here from the left side that we can use to start from. So I'm just gonna simply choose the minimal one that is already set up here. And then once you've chosen your template, you can simply go through this design and delete everything you don't need. For example, you don't wanna have a button. So you just simply hover over this element right here, click on it, and then you can go to the trash icon and then it will be deleted. And um, it's very intuitive. If you wanna change an element, simply click on it and then the entire um, features, the menu will open up on the left side. You can change the alignment, the, the color, the padding, and, and you can also kind of go into it and drag it around if you think it's too big and just edit it like this. It's really intuitive. Just um, take some time to create the email that you want to create. You can also add photos right here. You can also delete things like I said before. You can also drag um, blocks around. So when you click on it, you can drag this to the top, you can drag it to the bottom. And you can also, if you use uh, blocks multiple times, you can click on it and then click on the duplicate uh, icon right here and then it will make it a lot quicker to create your entire email. So then once you're finished creating your email, you can simply click on continue right here. And then you're gonna see an overview of your campaign, everything that we have set up just now. You can also send a test email to yourself to see how it looks like on your email inbox. 
and once everything is fine, we can go ahead and either schedule this email for another time, um, but you need to have a paid plan for that or we can send it right now. So this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm simply gonna click on send here on the top. Yes, I wanna send it to my three subscribers, send now. And now the email has gone out to all of my email subscribers. Thank <laughs> you.